Hi everyone, I'm Jeevna Hegde, a machine learning and artificial intelligence specialist customer engineer. And I'm Usain Jiva, a cloud technical resident. And we both work here at Google Cloud. Welcome back to the technical series for startups, where we are creating a series of videos for technical enablement to help startups to start, build and grow their businesses successfully and sustainably on Google Cloud. In our previous video, we talked about machine learning APIs, which is a subsection of all the machine learning offerings of Google Cloud. And today we are going to dive a little bit more on the machine learning side of things. We'll start by looking at the four broad categories of machine learning offerings on Google Cloud. We will then go over understanding the Vertex AI platform. We will then get into some depth to understand AutoML in Vertex AI as well as custom modeling in Vertex AI. We'll then go over a hands-on demonstration of Vertex AI on the Google Cloud Console and finally end the session with understanding how Vertex AI benefited one of our many, many customers. And now, without any further ado, let's get right on to the video. So, Google Cloud has several machine learning offerings for you. But, as an organization, it's important to understand your priority in terms of speed as in how fast you want to get started, how much effort you want to put in, and the level of complexity and customizability required. Hence, based on these, we divide our ML options into a few broad categories, starting with ML APIs that you learned about in the previous video. Here, you get started very quickly with minimal effort and no amount of customizability. But suppose you need a little more customization and you're ready to put in some time and effort before you get started, we have something called Vertex AI in AutoML. This is for four types of data, whether your data is text data, tabular data, images or videos, AutoML works for you. The third option is if you have ML experts in your team putting in a lot of effort into building a model for very specific needs and you require a very customizable platform. For that, we have Vertex AI with custom models. This way, you can have custom building to training and deployment on a unified platform that we provide. This would fairly take you time to build to fit best with your complex use cases. And finally, if you have data analysts on your team, they need not be ML experts because we allow you to build your models using simple SQL-like code with BigQuery ML or BQML. You can stream in your data or if you have your data already stored in the BigQuery data warehouse, even in petabyte scale, you can simply create your descriptive or predictive ML models using BQML with simple SQL queries. This also takes some time and effort, but provides you with great customizability. Essentially, we have a range of options, but the idea is to understand your priorities and help you transform to an AI company. Now, with knowing where Vertex AI fits in, in the broader ML AI aspect, let us help you understand a little more on what it is. Vertex AI is an umbrella of machine learning products and services for building, training, deploying, managing, as well as scaling your machine learning workloads. Considering your ML workflow from data readiness to feature engineering, to hyperparameter tuning, to training, serving the trained model, understanding it and tuning it further, deploying it to edge case devices like your mobile phones, monitoring your model, scaling it, and the overall management. We have products to solve for each of these. This diagram right here gives you a quick lookbook of which tools solve for which of this purpose in this unified platform. We'll be covering a few of these in a little more detail in just a bit. So, Vertex AI essentially gives you this unified experience. It provides various options that we discussed, which are your ML APIs, AutoML, custom model training, and your BigQuery ML in a single place. And because it's an integrated platform, your models can be reused, pipelines can be built to automate things, and create a workflow, and so on. And this unified platform is built on top of Google's robust, secure foundation to create a seamless experience and to provide flexibility for users of all levels of ML expertise, whether you're new to ML domain or an expert. Now let's go ahead and understand AutoML in a little more detail. 
This is how your traditional ML workflow looks like. You load your data set, pre-process it to appropriate formats, do feature engineering on them, then you build your actual ML model, deploy it, and it ultimately makes the predictions for you. With AutoML, we are helping you skip a major chunk of this process with pre-built models. So you simply load your data and it is processed. You need to set your training budgets and AutoML will take care of the rest for you by choosing the best fit model and giving you the predictions. So you entirely skip having to choose your model architecture, actually having to build your model and then tuning your parameters and a lot of the other work. So this is essentially the fastest path from data to value. We'll even look at a quick demo for this very shortly. The way the product works is that we provide a graphical, codeless interface, guiding users through the end-to-end -end ML lifecycle with significant automation as well as guardrails at each step. This will help you easily define your data schema and targets, analyze your input features in the Feature Statistics dashboard, and automatically train your model including automated feature engineering, model selection, and hyperparameter tuning. AutoML automatically search through Google's Model Zoo to find the best model for you and trains your model. It will then allow you to evaluate your model behavior before deploying to production, and then simply allow you to deploy your model in one click. Through this, we can help you ensure that what used to take months now can take weeks or even days. When we say AutoML goes through a model zoo, what we mean by that is for smaller and simpler data sets, linear and logistic algorithms are used, and advanced deep ensemble methods are used for larger ones. Google's model portfolio includes everything from feedforward DNN to deep and wide neural network to gradient boosted decision trees and combinations of multiple of these techniques and so many, many more. So the benefit of choosing this is that AutoML automatically cherry picks from the best of research without you having to worry about the research and deciding the best way forward. Now coming to custom modeling. As discussed, this is for more complex and niche use cases that cannot be solved with AutoML. The idea is you define your instant setup from uploading your training data. The data is extracted and you put it into building your own model and training it with the virtual machines of your choice of configuration. You have four pre-built container options, which are your PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, and XGBoost. But you can also put it in custom containers and, finally, deploy your model and serve it to test it with Cloud Endpoints or Batch AI for batch predictions. All this from a single platform. Now, without any further ado, let's head to the demo. Quick note. It's important to keep in mind that you always need the required permissions to access anything on the Google Cloud Console, via Console, or the command line interface. Now, let's begin. First, I start by opening Vertex AI on the console. As you can see, there are a bunch of different tabs to the left right here. Let's start by looking at the data set section. Here, it gives you the list of the data sets already created if you've done so, or you can go ahead and create one. Let's do that. You can click on create right here and then choose what data type we want the created data set to be. As discussed earlier, this could be images, tabular data, text data or videos and you can choose for what use case you're trying to solve for right here. So for example, under images, you have single and multi-label classification as well as object detection and image segmentation. Let me choose image classification for single label for the purpose of this demo and then quickly give it a name. Now you have three options. You can choose to upload the files from your computer, upload imported files from your computer, or if you've already uploaded your files to the Google Cloud Storage, you can simply import them right here. Let me choose to upload files from my computer and quickly upload a few. You also need to label your files. For this, you can provide an annotation set or you can simply do so once you've uploaded your files on this platform. You can also choose your data split right here as to how many files you'd want as part of training your model, validating it, and ultimately testing your model. You can also do this data split at the time of model creation, and we'll look into that very shortly. While that's being done, let me quickly show you a data set which I've already created for image classification. 
Here you can see more than 5,000 files which have been labeled as either normal lung x-ray scans or lungs affected by pneumonia. You can also see the data split right here. About 4,700 images were used for training, 541 files for validation and 557 for testing. Quickly coming back, now we see that our data set has been created. Now moving on to training. This time right here shows you a list of models if you've tried creating any and their statuses. Now let's go ahead and create one. Start by clicking on create. Here you get to choose your data set and annotation set. The objective is blurred as we'd already provided this input when we were creating our data set. Now here's where you choose your model training method for Vertex AI. This could be your AutoML or AutoML Edge in case you want to export the AutoML model being trained to your on-prem or mobile device or so on, or your custom training. So I've selected AutoML right here and now moving on to model details. Here I can choose to create a new model or create a new version of an existing model. Then give it a name and description if you like it. In the advanced options, you have your data split to choose between randomly assigned or manual for training, validation, and testing. Additionally, you also have a checkbox to choose between which encryption method you want to go for. Now I'm just going to leave it all as is for the purpose of this demo and click on start training. Now that's how easy it is to get started on machine learning on Google Cloud with AutoML. Now moving on to custom training, let's go ahead and try and create one. You start by clicking on create again and follow the same steps for choosing the data set but this time you choose custom training for your training method. Now we have additional tabs pop up to the left right here. The model details and the advanced options are pretty much the same as before. Additionally, you can enable debugging by clicking on this checkbox in case you want to be able to debug your model even when training, which can be super helpful. Then you choose your training container. This could be from a set of pre-built containers that are already available, or you can choose to bring in your own container. I'm going for the pre-built option right here and choosing my model framework and version. Then I need to choose the path to the application code which needs to be stored prior to this in the Google Cloud Storage bucket. So I simply choose the path right here. Then we choose the Python module. Please note that these are all very random files just to show you the next steps. As mentioned earlier, you can perform hyperparameter tuning. Do so by checking on this box. Now choose the parameter, the data type, the min and max values and how you want it to be scaled. Then you actually choose the metric for it to be optimized and what the ultimate goal is to minimize, maximize and so on. Then you choose the maximum number of trials. This is it. Similarly, you can add multiple hyperparameters for it to be tuned in. I'm going to leave it as it is and move on. Now here's where you can choose your machine types with which your model is going to be trained. You can opt for high memory, high GPU, mega GPU, and so on. You can also choose to add accelerators like TPUs and GPUs for heavy long running jobs. And similarly, you can choose to add more worker pools. And finally, you can add your production container, which is optional and simply click on start training. It's just a few clicks away to get started even with custom training. Yay. Now let me quickly demo an auto ML model which I've already created to show you the capabilities of Vertex AI. This is for the X-rays data set that we saw earlier to classify whether a person has been diagnosed with pneumonia or not. This right here is my model. So when I click on this, you get to see a bunch of different details. Right here is the precision and recall curve as well as the confusion matrix itself. You can see how many times the image was normal and was classified as normal versus wrongly predicted as pneumonia, etc. So you have your true positives, true negatives, false positives and negatives, which essentially give you the accuracy of the model. Now I can simply deploy my trained model to an endpoint to actually test it out. And because we already have an endpoint, let's simply go ahead and test this model out. I'm going to upload an image of a normal lung x-ray scan. Let's see what it classifies it as. You can see here that the model did a great job and predicted it as normal. Now let me go ahead and upload a pneumonia lung scan. Now let me go ahead and upload a pneumonia affected x-ray. This was a simple illustration of how a classification use case can be solved using our machine learning capabilities on Google Cloud. 
So without any further ado, go create all the magic you want to by leveraging this platform. With such a powerful AI portfolio, no wonder many customers use it to speed up their AI ML workflows and expand their capabilities. One of them is Portal Telemedicina. This Brazilian startup is a digital healthcare company that provides reliable, fast, and low-cost diagnostics in Brazil and Africa. Portal Telemedicina uses ML models to evaluate the contents of exams, classify the findings with a risk score, and notify the medical team about the patient's condition. By utilizing Vertex AI and TensorFlow, Portal Telemedicina has improved ML diagnostic reliability from 68 to 90 percent. With the transition to Google Cloud, Portal Telemedicina has decreased to 20 to 30 minutes, down from two weeks their deployment cycle, while spending 20 percent less when compared to previous cloud providers. As stated by Portal Telemedicina's CEO, the Google Cloud ML engine gave us much more flexibility to create and tune our ML models compared to the other cloud services. In this session, we understood the various machine learning offerings of Google Cloud and understood Vertex AI. We also deep dive into AutoML and custom models in Vertex AI and also saw a hands-on demo. And finally, also reviewed a customer success story. If you're interested in learning more, please click on the links in the description where you'll be able to read up more on Vertex AI, check out our AI Simplified YouTube playlist and get hands on the platform by trying out step-by-step -step guided tutorials. And please reach out and get connected to learn more. And that brings us to the end of this session. In our next video, we'll go over understanding API management in detail, which includes understanding what API is, why you need API management, and choosing between API Gateway and Apigee. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to get notified each time a new video is posted. Hang tight and we'll see you very soon in our next video.